is frustrated. Um, you know, and, and that's what we do. So when we, we acquire a player, we talk about how we view them, and then they talk about how they'll be utilizing the scheme. Because if we're going to bring a guy in that has a skill that we believe has a certain skill set and the coaches don't see it the, the same way, we're all going to be frustrated. All right, well, uh, one example of that would have been Rager. Uh, obviously, Jayla Rager, you made the trade last week. We played the cut. You would uh, give it out, your explanation as to why. Um, when you look back on a situation like that, Howie, do you start to wonder how you came up with Rager over Jefferson? Do you try to make sure you don't do the same kind of thing the next time? Take us into yeah. your mindset on what happened with Rager. Yeah, I, I think one of, one of my many weaknesses is that I, I spend more time thinking about my mistakes than I do any of the successes that we may have had. You know, I think it continually motivates me to, to get better. And so when, whenever we do something like that, I go back and I look at the process and how we came to that decision. And, you know, listen, I, I, it's obvious. You know, I'm not going to sit here and lie that we'd love to have that moment back. Now, I believe that all of these moments, all of the, they lead to where you're getting. Like, I feel like when we won a world championship, there were some mistakes made in that process, but they led us to get where we wanted to be. So I, I, I can't go back in time and change it. You know, all I can do is try to learn from it and get better. And so I think a lot of the messages there is like, you know, we just got to take the best players at all times. We don't have to worry so much about fit or what we have on the team. And, you know, you go back to that moment. We had we had two tight ends who were really good in the middle of the field. Greg Ward was coming off a really good year in the slot. And, and so we were looking for a specific role as opposed to, you know, just kind of great in the players and and um you know that's on me 100 percent. you know at the end of the day i'm responsible for all that i take responsibility but i i also promise you one thing if i make a mistake i'm going to do everything in my power to make it up yeah and you've done a lot of that in the off season howie it just hello everyone this is al Kabir, the analyst and today I'll be talking Howie Roseman regretting the Jalen Rager pick and also Quez Watkins starting returner. I don't like it. I don't like it. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. Um, let's get into it. Let's get into first um, Howie Roseman. The clip you heard in the beginning, he was on WIP. You know, I, I think the guy asked the right questions about, you know, about how we in the Rager thing. Now Rager is gone. He could kind of speak his mind a bit. He like, you know, he tried to pick. This is this is why I emphasize this as far as the draft. Always try to pick the best player available instead of trying to fit pieces. Because, like, for example, we loaded on linebacker. But say if we had, like, the 25th or 26th pick next year for whatever reason. And the best available player is a linebacker. Instead of this mid-tier, let's say, tight end or something, get the linebacker. So what he thought was Jalen Rager could fit that outside because of his speed and everything. And a lot of scouts were saying, you know, Justin Jefferson is really a slot guy. And But Justin Jefferson, as he sort of admitted, but he didn't actually say it, he alluded to Justin Jefferson was the better player. But he thought he was putting in a better piece to fit the hole that we needed to be fixed which was outside that wasn't the case Justin Jefferson is a better outside and slot receiver Jalen Rager could ever be but you know he said I made up for it I, and which is true he got picks out of Rager he got AJ Brown um basically from the same draft as DK Metcalf got rid of JJ Ortega Whiteside basically flipped him for picks so I can't lie, he definitely made up for his mistakes. And Howie Roseman, he's human. He's going to make mistakes, and he's learning. He's learning, and he's learning. But the moves he's been making, I can't be too mad. I, I can't be too mad about it. You get Trey Sermon. A lot of people don't like him, but get something to fill that hole. You get C.J. Garner Johnson. We needed a safety. You get the linebackers. He did everything he can. As far as on the GM side, now it's up to the coaching staff to do what they need to do but i agree with him he had made up for his mistakes but man those were some big mistakes but he he made up for him he definitely made up for him like he said 
I always wanted to know his thought process. Like, why Rager? Though he, he was a better outside receiver. We really didn't need a slot receiver. He brought up Greg Ward. Greg Ward was really good in the slot. He like, uh, I, we don't really need that slot guy. Let's get an outside guy like Rager. We believe Rager can be a good outside wide receiver. And once again, that was not the case. So salute to Howie Roseman. He definitely been speaking his mind. Definitely been doing this thing, making moves, trades, picks, getting picks. And yeah, just salute Howie Roseman. I don't want to even get into more and more detail about it, but just salute to him, man. He been doing this thing. Now, this is what I don't like, and this is more probably the coaching staff. So they put out this depth chart, and um, everything looks good to me as far as how it is. But when I seen Returner, I'm like, Quest? Bad enough, we only got, what, four receivers? And you got Quest Returner? Cool, Quest is possibly the fastest guy or the second fastest guy, maybe even the third fastest guy on our team. But he's very valuable. It will actually piss piss me off if he get hurt returning kicks i I don't like it because once again he's your third receiver once again he's your third receiver you don't want him returning kicks and getting hurt we got covey we got allen on the practice squad drop somebody and bring them up which the eagles did not do so this is the depth chart for sunday can't wait to see the Lions in Detroit. You know, a lot of people got them upsetting us. I seen some weird guy put 31 to 30 Lions. Hard Knocks got these dudes wilding, man. They got Detroit upsetting the Eagles. And uh, it, it's not like I'm sleeping on them, but it's like, come on. We're going to be the upset of the day. It's, it's just that our roster is just so much better. And they still dealing with injuries and stuff. Yeah, they a fired up team. They on the up and coming, but I, I think the Eagles just might be too much. Might be too much, but we will see. I could be wrong. The Lions can beat us. And I'm going to do a live stream about this Saturday. Do you think the Lions will upset the Eagles? I would say no. I would definitely say no. But once again, I like how, how we are speaking. I like this depth chart. Except Quest Watkins being a returner. Don't like that. But all in all, man, I'm excited to see this team Sunday. But let let me not get long-winded. I got to get back to work. And what do you think of how do you feel about these moves, man? Do you like Quest as the returner? Mm, maybe as a rookie I would have. But he's a valuable piece. But this is Alcabeta Analyst.